Okay, so here is now, uh, let's talk about the guidance. Um, issued in uh, officially in 2011, a draft in 08. Uh, comments were received between 08 and 11, and really not very many comments, not very many changes. Um, three stages, uh, design, understand, and, and, and understand the process, uh, including scale up and technology transfer. Uh, then uh, stage two is really traditional validation, uh, showing uh, manufacturing is reproducible, uh, multiple lots, okay, or, or as many lots as you need to do to prove that you are validated. And then a decision at that point, whether we should turn it over to production and let production do routine manufacturing. Then stage three, we continue, continued notice, not continue us, continued process verification, routine merit manufacturing. So now we emphasize stage one and stage three, which is much different than before. Before, stage two was everything. Now, stage one and three are really more important. So here's our, uh, our same graph that I showed you before. Present terminology, process performance qualification is this step of the various unit operations in manufacturing. We get through these steps with our qualified equipment and qualified equipment facilities, utilities, and systems, qualified analytical, our manufacturing process is then validated. Now here's some stuff right out of the guidance and you're going to see a detail. So, you know, um, what I want you to see here is that the um, guidance, of course, introduced the stages. Okay, so that is a big difference. The other thing the guidance did is give us a lot more detail than I think I'm ever accustomed to in seeing in other FDA guidances. So they really um, express things in, in, in more detail than um, uh, I really, I would expect, mostly they say, here's what we want you to do, and it's up to you to, to do it. Here, they really got into a little bit more detail. You know, for example, recommending a statistician uh, be there to, uh, to analyze data. But anyway, here we have uh, some direct quotes, and again, I've highlighted the words in red, and these are the same words in red that you saw from those other previous supporting documents. Okay, ongoing programs to collect and analyze process and process data. Okay, so uh, consistent wording. Okay, more, okay, good archiving, accessibility, statistics, control over high-risk attributes, uh, homogeneity and, and batch consistency between batches are the goals of process validation. So again, the same words that we've seen in documents starting in the early 90s. 